So what I want to do is take you to um, several different places where we can see um, the, both the ramp and the dock arrangement. Uh, you know you go fishing enough and put in enough of these ramps and they all begin to repeat themselves. And so there's the, the classic, what I would call a, a sideboard uh, courtesy dock. And that's just the one that you can just kind of pull right up to. And, and um, you see a lot of that in the, some of the back bays and the oceans. And then there's kind of these classic L shapes where the courtesy dock is, is uh, shaped like an L, which allows it some incoming boat traffic to, to tie up before they trailer the boat. We can use those to our advantage even when launching the boat. Um, and then there's the regular I formation, which is just a regular straight ramp. So um, all of these are great configurations for the use of Dakota. And even when there is no ramp at all, I want to show you how you can use Dakota to your advantage. And that's the classic uh, tying the rope to the trailer trick. Uh, but with Dakota, it even simplifies it uh, all the more. So. Not only is Dakota just a, a great line management tool um, that helps you keep all the rope out of the way, uh, but it also has the strength and the muscle to gently and smoothly pull your boat right back to where you want it. Okay, so here we are at a place on uh, Melton Hill Lake that we call Stony Point. Uh, as you can see, I've got my fishing boat uh, hooked up here. I've got my Dakota. I always keep him ready. So I set him in my seat pedestal pin right there so I can use him at, uh, at any time. But as you'll notice, this is a really just kind of a classic setup for a uh, launch ramp. It's just what I, we would call just an I configuration, like the old I configuration in football, where the, the dock itself just goes perpendicular to the water, uh, and then parallel to that dock is the ramp itself, and you can see the ramp there. Um, and this is a really uh, easy place for Dakota to use. You probably got about a, oh, I don't know, I would say that's a good uh, 40 to 50 feet between that uh, guide post over there and the edge of the ramp. So this is a perfect spot to use Dakota. Uh, and as a matter of fact, we have some footage of Jim launching his boat at this very spot. So take a look at that video. He walks you really uh, through a step-by-step -step way to, uh, to launch in this beautiful, this beautiful lake. show you how to launch your boat using a Dakota boat retriever by yourself. The first thing I like to do is to let down my tailgate for visual purposes and then I unlatch the boat from the trailer. And then the next thing I do is release the transom straps. And while I'm down here I do a visual inspection on my drain plug. my motor and I'll store it safely in the boat. Okay, so today the ramp is on my starboard side of the boat and I'm going to use a 1000 HD Dakota. I've got my rope stop set at two feet to stop the rope retract and let's go launch.
So anybody who uh, has spent any amount of time in and around the water has certainly seen this configuration before. This is just a classic end of the road ramp leading into the water. Um, there's just nothing here but basically a little bit of asphalt for the, uh, for the ramp and a trash can to put your trash in. But that's the ramp right there. Uh, there's really nothing to, um, uh, there's no courtesy dock or anything. So the question is, what does a fella do? Well, let me show you how we would solve this problem with Dakota. So in a configuration like this, I, like probably 99% of everybody else who comes to a ramp like this that has no courtesy dock, I'm going to use the old tie the, uh, tie the line to the, um, to the trailer trick. And so what I've done, I've obviously take my strap off here before I launch, but I would have this uh, hook on my U-bolt uh, on, on the front of my boat, and then I would run it all the way back down beside my gunwale until I got to my trailer where I have a little eyelet that I've connected it onto. But with Dakota, I don't need this anymore. And, and in this situation, you can tell I've got some pretty rough concrete right here, uh, which is really hard on the bottom of the boat. But I've noticed to the left over here, I've got a nice sandy bottom and not too far in the distance. I've even got a post over there. Can probably use that to my advantage. Certainly with the Dakota, I can use any of this little brush right here to my advantage to pull the, the boat up, or I can pull it back up on the dock or on the ramp right here where people uh, normally would. I think I'm gonna try to use that post right over there because uh, I like the dirt down at the low spot. But I don't need this anymore. With Dakota, this is just redundant. It makes me get out of the truck again. I've gotta pull the boat back up again. Then I gotta get in the boat and I've gotta move it over there to that mud flat anyway. Uh, so why don't I just let Dakota do the work for me? So I'm gonna take all of that off um, and then we're just gonna hook Dakota up and, and we'll go from there. So I've disconnected my Dakota from my trolling motor right there, which is how I like to use it when I'm going down the uh, highway. And I'll just pull the rope out, as you can see, and make my way across the grass here. Oh, that's perfect. Nice little deep uh, bottom right there. Um, and I can easily just use this, uh, I guess this cable right here would be good. Just hook it around that post locked on there. Now you can see it. If I get a good picture of it. There's my setup. I'm just going to dump my boat in the water and I uh, fully anticipate uh, Dakota to pull him right up here to the bank. I'll just step off in the bow of the boat. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I've just launched Dakota. I'll just go up here and park right next to my neighbor. I'll just sit right here and film and see what happens. Beach nice and easy right there on that uh, soft sand. That's perfect. Like I said, I'll park right here and we'll go get her. Okay, so here we are. Um, the boat obviously made it up to the bank. It's still attached to uh, my post right over here. So again, all I have to do is just to simply disconnect it from the uh, line that I didn't even know was there before I even got here. Let it retract all the way down to the boat. I'm just gonna hop down on this nice Soft sand, step into my boat, and we're good to go. Uh, another successful launch by myself, super easy. Okay, so here we are at our next destination point. Uh, we actually call this uh, Solway Ramp, and um, we made a number of videos at this ramp, but it's a good one to point out. Uh, number one, it has an L-shaped ramp to it. As you can see, the, um, uh, I'm sorry, it has an L-shaped courtesy dock to it. As you can see, it's, it's, it's right there. And then it has a double ramp, it has a double car ramp. We have launched here uh, many times and have, as I mentioned, have made several videos here 
and probably one of the best videos we made here was with uh, uh, David Hodson and he was explaining how he was going to use Dakota at this very spot to launch his uh, 21 foot nitro bass boat. So let's just turn it over to David and let him show us how to do it right here at this ramp. I fish a lot by myself and I can, I can put my boat in, take my Dakota, put it on the dock, uh, take the cord, put it on the dock and uh, put my boat in, go park my vehicle, come back and it's sitting right there at the dock. And, that, and I can do that with a 15, 20 mile an hour wheels. Yeah, my boat, my boat is big. It's eight feet wide. It's 21 and a half foot long. And it's, uh, it's hard to get in and out of it. And, uh, but with this Dakota, you just uh, put it in, park your vehicle, and just step right into your boat. It's just that simple. Let me show you how it works. So here we come up on what we call Carbide Park. This is a really good uh, example of the different configurations of ramps and docks that you'll find. In this particular case, the, uh, the ramp is a double ramp. It's right out here on the point of a peninsula. And then it has two courtesy docks that are about 180 degrees uh, from each other. As you can see, they've got one courtesy dock over here on the right. Uh, and then another one over here on the left and for those of you who keep up with us you'll this uh, particular ramp will look familiar we've done another of shoots here I think the thing that's interesting about this particular um, uh, boat ramp um, is the large riprap rock that you'll find right around this point I'll hop out of the truck here and give you a shot of it and then we'll let, uh, uh, I think, uh, a couple of our videos point to how you can launch even in this situation. Okay, so here we are again. This is the uh, right-hand side uh, courtesy ramp. Large riprap rock right there. Uh, you certainly wouldn't want your boat to get up in that. Uh, and then we have the same uh, rock barrier protecting this, um, this point. And if we get some pretty big winds that come right in here in this particular hole of water. Uh, but these are certainly just kind of eye configuration ramps perpendicular to the water. But the interesting thing is you have to negotiate this big long. And Dakota handles this very well, as you'll see in uh, a couple of these short clips uh, that I'll show you.
Okay, so I have uh, shown up at another ramp that's uh, local to us here in Tennessee. This is a part of the Clinch River system. Uh, great place to fish and boat and ski. Um, great bass in here, uh, great trout in here as well. But I'm just right beside a highway as you probably can hear a little bit of the traffic behind me. And you'll see there's just no courtesy ramp here at all. Nice ramp, uh, really good place to launch. Uh, but it's just not uh, it's just not boater friendly here. Normally what I would do is again I would uh, take my my rope I would uh, hook it to the uh, U-bolt on the front of my on the front of my winch there or in the front of my boat. I would run it back and hook it to my trailer. I'd launch my boat out in the water, move back up, get out of the truck, um, unhook it, uh, tie it up somewhere, get back in the truck, go park the truck, and then you know finally I get to get back in my boat. As I surveyed the situation, I, I've never launched this boat here before, and I just noticed there's like a you know a, a sign right up here, a signpost that's just kind of up the bank a little bit, and then the the water right down in here is is actually not too bad. It's pretty rocky on this side, as you can see, and that's not acceptable. Uh, so I can kind of let the the keel of my boat kind of just come up in that si uh, nice soft uh, sand there, as well as it's got some looks like it's got some moss growing on it. So let's go ahead and do the regular things that you do when you launch a boat, and that is to unhook uh, the winch and to unstrap the boat in the back. I'll simply connect Dakota next and we'll launch and be on our way. So I have the uh, boat uh, unstrapped and the winch ties off. I know some of the folks have asked me questions about, you know, how does that Dakota fit in that pedestal pin? Well, it's really easy. This seat just pops right out, and uh, I don't even have to get in the boat to do it. Uh, you can see the seat. I just set it down there in the uh, in the floor, even when I'm running down the road. And then in the bottom of the Dakota unit, it allows for a three-quarter inch pedestal pin adapter to fit in there. And so when you just take that, you can just drop it right in there. And then it allows the Dakota to pivot 360 degrees. And then the interesting thing is that it's also, that pedestal rides high enough so that it will... Um, it'll come over my trolling motor here so it doesn't entangle my trolling motor at all. So we'll just do like we did the last time. We'll walk right over here to our post. In this particular case, um, see I'll just probably, I don't have another hand here, I'll just loop this around and click it on itself. and we're ready to launch. It's just that simple. So as you can see, the uh, Dakota brought the boat right up to the bank. Uh, it's just right in that nice gravelly area. Nothing's hitting on the, uh, on the motor or not. And then the line is nice and taut all the way up here to my, uh, just a post. Again, I could have tied it to a tree or one of these trees or even any of the rocks down there closer to the bank uh, to, uh, to uh, stop it a little sooner. So it's just that easy. You just tie, you pull up, find your spot, tie it off, you're good to go. And at this point, my truck is parked and I didn't take up the ramp. And, um, um, so that other folks uh, can now get in and use the ramp. There you go.